Hello my people, win today, win tomorrow, and win forevermore. My people, I won on Akereka. I don't know how to translate it in English. But if you're here, Igbo, you can write it in the comment section that I said I won on Akereka. The people of Ukraine are suffering. There is a big problem there at this point in time. I'm going to refer to you guys what Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua said about Ukraine and Russia a couple of years ago. Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua saw this crisis coming some years ago. As he said, prophecy is given when there is no situation on the ground. This prophecy has come to pass. We can see it now with our crocodile eyes. There is uh, serious problems in Ukraine. Uh, the people of Ukraine, according to the news, BBC News, I watched yesterday, uh, the early hours of this morning, they said they couldn't sleep because the uh, sound of, you know, um, the stuff going around there couldn't allow them to sleep. So uh, they were kept awake with the noise of the siren um, and other stuff going around in the environment. Uh, there's some words that I can't mention because once I open my mouth to say it, you know what YouTube is like, you know, they will, t they will time it to be something else. But I try to, you know, corner the words, you know. But I know you guys understand what is going on in Ukraine. All over the news, once you put on the BBC news, that's what you're going to hear all day. So the people, they are facing crisis at this point in time. So I'm going to let you watch what our able prophet, the prophet of our time, Baba T.B. Joshua, what he said. Stay tuned. And they have to pray for the nation's Russia because I'm seeing great war is coming against them. I don't know what, where the war come from. Because leader, their leader will face greater opposition. And the opposition will be so much that it may excuse him. And that will turn the nature to another thing. See what is happening in Russia and um, Ukraine. Prophet TB Joshua prophesied about it. And now it's coming to but my people take prophecy seriously. When a prophecy comes, all you need to do is all you need to do is to pray. And if you're not serious with it, praying against it, it will come to pass. When Prophet T B Joshua made this prophecy, maybe some people just you know um, feel that you know it just anyhow prophecy. Now look at what is happening in Ukraine. Look at what it, look at the turmoil. Look at the disaster happening in Ukraine. And that president in Russia, he doesn't want to give up at all. He wants to finish Ukraine. And what we can do now as children of God is to continue to put them in prayers. We can do otherwise. All we need to do, pray for them. Uh, they got uh, this gold fund me. If you have small penny that you want to give, you know, to save lives there, because people there are now suffering. Most people there are now are suffering. Children are dying, adults, people are being killed. When you hear of prophecy, pray, pray, pray. Especially those bad ones. 
pray against it. Take it seriously. That's the point of this video. The point of this video, when you hear about prophecy, prophecy of Baba uh, TB Joshua, is not something that you just say, oh, it's just like other pastors. No, it's not like other pastors. It's not like other men of God. His own must surely come to pass. If it doesn't happen that particular time, he says it will happen. It must surely happen. Thank you for watching this video. Continue to pray for Ukraine. That there will be peace in that particular country. And also Russia. You know, and our other neighboring countries. That peace will reign. That's what we need. We don't want all these conflicts. We don't need it. Because as I heard... You know, uh, uh, bread, wheat, is going to be scarce now. So, so there'll be shortage of bread. We that like eating bread a lot, you know, um, the production of bread will be reduced. Guys, continue to pray because this one concerns everybody. Don't just say it's uh, Ukraine and the Russia alone. You know, uh, it, it will affect you in one way or the other. So pray. Let God intervene in this. It's only God that would do it. Because President uh, Putin, himself, President Putin, that man, I don't know, God intervened. That's all I need to say. I can't say much. Thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus' name, amen. As I said earlier on, if you want to help uh, Ukraine, because at this particular time, they need our help. Not only prayers. They also need uh, food, water, and other um, essential uh, things. Um, so if you can help, that would be fantastic. Go to GoFundMe because they have created that, uh, where you can donate uh, so that you know uh, food, water, and, and the clothing can be you know uh, supplied to the people of uh, Ukraine. Thank you very much. God bless you all.